Hello, my wonderful people. It's Biafran families all over the world. I welcome you all and I bless you. Uh, as uh, we are about to read an, a, a very important message on news uh, concerning the role that the Finland have been playing in this uh, struggle for the emancipation of the people of the old eastern region, which is the Biafran people. I want to ask you uh, this thing. Maybe some people might not know this. Do you know that uh, during, before, during, and after the genocidal war against the Biafrans by the Zojuran and their counterparts in the UK and other Western allies, do you know that uh, Finland have been protecting the Biafran people since that day till today? It may shock you to know that uh, um, veterinary uh, doctors we have in the southeastern region as of in the olden days. When I mean olden days, I mean um, from that 1960, 61, 62, down till uh, before the war, during the war, and after the genocidal war against the Biafrans. All the veterinary doctors we have in the southeast, they are all from Finland. And they also wrote books concerning the war, what happened, uh, before the war, during the war, and after the war, the books will be made open or will be made available at the different bookshops in Biafra land as we proceed. But let us continue with what Simon Ekba wrote here because some people might not understand where this journey started. Some people might not understand that the Biafra, uh, the Biafrans have been in a very good relationship with the people of Finland right long time immemorial that is why the zoo when they went to the united nations general assembly in new york uh, this is uh, 79th hunger of 2024 when uh, the so-called uh, the vice president of the zoo also who is also the chief and commander in chief of uh, boko harams in the uh, northeast which is a uh, um uh, kasim shetima when he went to the Onga, he tried to bribe the Prime Minister, or rather the President of uh, Finland, promising him heaven and earth so that they will hand over Simon Ekpa to them. But the guy gave them one answer, that they should go back home and do what? And first of all, fight against the insurgent that is ravaging his own region before he can be able to talk about anyone from the Southeast. They went home shamefully very, I mean, they are ashamed of themselves. In the picture that have been taken, because then they were disappointed seeing a, a cameraman taking their pictures. And when the answer the man gave to them was a kind of uh, uh, like, like, it was like like somebody stabbed their chest. Do you know what they did? All of them frowned. Atiku Bagudo is there. Uh, Yusuf Tuga is there. And also the so-called uh, uh, vice president of the zoo. Kashim Shetima, all of them were ashamed when the man told them you should go home and fight your real enemies, that the Biafrans are not your enemies. Anyway, see the news that the Prime Minister of the BG, uh, Simon Ekpa Njoko, brought to us concerning the, the, the role the Finland have been playing in the lives of the Biafrans from long time immemorial. So if you get this message, make sure this message goes viral. So that the zoo will understand that the relationship between the Biafrans and the people of Finland did not start from today. It did not even start from Epa. It had been there for a very long time before even Epa was born and before the Biafrans, uh, I mean, I mean the Biafrans that are living in that very particular country were even born. So make sure to see waiting. Some of talk here. Please like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. After the news, then we are going to dissect at the comment section what really uh, transpired and how the whole thing is, is going to be. Anyway, Simon Ekpa said, and I quote, in 2016, I led Ndibu in Finland on a courtesy visit to Dr. Henteka, a finest woman who was in my village, that is uh, a boy state, serving as veterinary doctor before the war. She was also in my village when the war started and she wrote two books on the Afra war. One of the idiots in that very particular picture was among those who wrote petition against Simon Ekpa in 2023. Can you imagine? In support of 
one Nigeria. I cut him off in the picture. That is the person because uh, I, well, I will include the pictures in this uh, broadcast. So I will see how he cut the person off of being a saboteur in the midst of those uh, who want the progress of the Biafrans. Anyway, let us uh, dive into the comment section to dissect the message the way it ought to be. And I will encourage you to do also do the same. As you are watching, make sure you are sharing, you are liking, you are commenting. Most importantly, let this video go viral. Let it have as many shares as possible or as many likes as possible. Okay, okay, or oh, sorry, uh, okay, from the BC said immediately they discovered you are serious about Biafra restoration. They became angry. They thought it will be, it will be, uh, it will be greater. Okay, it will be gather and share money as usual. Okay, okay, now I understand. Mount Peace underscore back up said uh, that's how all the evil people will cut off from the liberation of Biafra. Of course, they must surely be cut off. Simon Ekpa, the parody said, uh, Nani. You have given the enemies another assignment. They will start uh, digging for these books to know the village where the woman actually served. They want to know your family house by fire, by thunder. But uh, them go tired. In fact, they go explain, explain until they get tired. Come to go to her Ochi. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. See, you go laugh for Ochi, where Okere, Okere Mbawishi, or no Okere Mbawishi. The kind of Ochi, where uh, Okere Chere Iku Iku, I don't know how I want to translate this one. I beg, you can help me translate it in the comment section? How come I kill myself? Can Dako O say that God knows exactly what he's doing with you? Thank you for not ignoring the call to serve us. And we have a Simon Ekpa, the legendary say, may God Almighty in heaven continue to bless, guide, and protect the great people of Finland forever and ever. Simon Ekpa, the Alice, the Great, the purpose of Tuku Okiabiyama, sending Obato Bie Ekpa Simon Njoku to Finland, is manifesting before our very own eyes. And according to him, he showed a picture that says maximum respect. According to South, he how you have gotten our enemies another task. They will now search for these books to identify the village where the woman served. The Hip Hop Nigeria organization and the DOS Department of Saboteurs are mobilizing to pursue their desired field of study. Anyway, we the Bia France, we are moving. No time to take time. King's Wall said, Indeed, you are the chosen one. Thank you so much for not ignoring the call by Almighty Tuku Eze Chito Kike Abiyama, but for the enablers and sabos. The law must deal with them decisively for others to learn. Simon Ekpa, Sisu, uh, in bracket Simon, uh, sorry, Samson, said, when I saw the half image, I knew he must be one of the sabos. We will continue cutting them off every in, in every activities. And uh, Stephen said that his neck needs to be cut, uh, cut off entirely. Real life self. <laughs> well, I know they finish you. Maze Amuku Omoka said, Judgment Day is fast approaching, sir. December 2nd, 2024, on my mind. December 22nd, 2024, loading. Hashtag, we move. Roland said, Simon Egberima. Okay, now watching your call. Chuku said, Oh God, thank you for this day. Finland can never betray us. With this peak and many more gives me more confidence that Finland loves us more than we love ourselves. Thank you, my PM at Simon underscore Ekpa. God bless and protect you for their friends and the world at large. They will the good guy. Moving forward, Okpolo said uh, hashtag Biafra Mass Exodus 2024. Hashtag never again in Nigeria. And hashtag this is the month of rage. Honorable Prime Minister, uh, you didn't cut him off if I see correctly unless I'm mistaken. What you did was that you divided him into three, removed two parts, and that is exactly what he deserves. And this is someone so near to you. you get the point now, eh? And which they said uh, you did well by cutting the Mugu off. One next even said uh, all this history must be told from generation to generation. Ebalichi Mobi Solomon, in fact, my 
Prime Minister Simon Ekpa Joko God sent you to Finland for a purpose and you started this partnership journey long ago. Making friends with the finest people, may Chuko Okiabiyama continue to guide and protect you always. EKG said, please stop sit at home in most of our biggest city like Onosha, Oka, Enugu, Oba, Uwere, Abakiliki, Newe, Umaya. Sit at home is kill those cities. I come in peace. You can do sit at home in other places in Igbo land. You're a woman. <laughs> Citizen Dama said, please was the title of the two books Dr. Hintaka wrote. Cheers. And according to the pictures here, Onyibo, Biafra, Ipop, and Nigeria. Nobody is going to save them. Mr. Aripo said, not everyone have a good heart toward their people. Just like you and Mazin Namdekalo. Anyway, the fight for Biafra still continues. There's no going back. Uh, I am the good guy said uh, in Biafra uh, in Biafra land. Finland will be immortalized by way of teaching finest languages as language second for all the Biafrans in the whole world. Ebalechi Mobi Solomon, as you cut him off, so shall Biafra spirit cut him off now and beyond. Oh yeah, make one say a mighty amen. Trump 247 said the purpose of Tuku Okike Abiyama. Sending Obato Obie, Epa Simon Njoko to Finland is manifest, manifesting before our own very eyes. Maximum respect, sir. You have done good well. Nkiru Kawena, my PM, my action son, I am glad you cut off the sabo out of the picture. Let it be an example for other saboteurs to see what their future has become. A bond to the world. Anyway, my wonderful people, I hear we will take back break. When I hear our voice again, when we come back. Like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. I'll be right back to give you other Ubonga news. Bye for now, my people. Kemesiano.